almost such perfect. a no-brainer upgrade. Valve said that ultimately they were unsatisfied with their reliability at this time. So fingers crossed for the future, but not today. Other tweaks to the outside, uh, colors of the button labels and the bases of the thumbsticks are different. Power button is now a nice almost LTT orange. The power LED is a WRGB diode to give you more feedback about your charge state. And the screws on the back of the deck are Torx rather than Phillips. Very Those nice. are but not Linus's fingies. That's about it for the exterior changes. And it looks like the dimensions are identical, which raises a big question for me. Will your OG deck accessories still fit? Now, Dbrand was desperate to know, which makes sense given their line of work. And we thought about just lending them a unit, but then I was all like, hey, I have the power in this relationship for a change. Why don't we charge them to test it and then do it on camera where everyone can see it? I actually don't know the correct way to put this on, so I'm just gonna go for it. What is <laughs> that? Is that like an like external like battery pack? I don't even know what this is. I, I really have never like, played around with all the extra stuff that you can put on the Steam Deck. I just Anything hit it raw. Different. But just because it doesn't seem different doesn't mean it's exactly right necessarily. Micro SD slot, perfect. Rear buttons, perfect. Top buttons, LEDs, all visible, all accessible. Looks good to me. Obviously, if the kill switch goes on, then their other accessories will fit, but what the heck. If you don't need the kickstand, there's also their universal mount. Go ahead and pop that on. Kind of looks like Valve's Valve. Lots of people use these for external battery banks, but you can mount pretty much anything to your Steam Deck with it. I mean, look at that. Wow. Screwdriver. Now, one thing that's not going to go as smoothly is the screen. People put external batteries on this fucking thing? What are you, trying to do a, a bicep curl? What the fuck? Like, the one thing I will say is that, like, yeah, I've never... I, I like it's it's definitely not easy to just like fucking run around with it and play around with it. You know what I mean? Protector. Do they? When are you gonna debate again? When's your next debate? This is boring. All hail the master debater Hamas. Who are you gonna dunk on today? Who are you gonna dunk on in a debate? Debate someone. This is boring. This is boring. Go debate someone. What the hell are you doing? These are fake. This guy really loves to do some research on what he's talking about. Ha ha. I'm not even gonna ban this guy. He has a bigger one because the OLED it's is only lighter. A bezel reduction. The actual piece of glass is the same size. And I'm sure you will do a really, really good job of applying it instead of just doing it in a hurry like I'm doing because I'm on camera. Oh man, that's way off. Uh, just, just don't look that close. They include two though because they assume you'll screw one up. I. Please decide for me. PS5, Steam Deck, or Series X? Wait, what? The Series X is out of the equation. Why the fuck would you ever buy that? But I think Steam Deck probably. With the thumbstick boards, noticeable reduction in fan noise if you don't happen to have a nice tech. The new top of the line includes one terabyte of NVMe storage and has the same anti-glare etching on the glass as the original. It also includes this new two-part case that will help save some room in your backpack if you don't happen to have a nice tech-focused bag that has room for multiple laptops and a Steam Deck like ours does, lttstore.com. The base model is now 256 gigabytes for the same price as before, a quadrupling of storage, not to mention the speed upgrade, but this one has a catch. It's the old LCD version, and not just with the same screen, without any of the new upgrades. At least that's the case for now. So um, I would probably avoid that one, and I'd be looking at the mid tier. It's $20 more than last gen, but it gets beautiful. This is not just a Steam Deck with an OLED display. This is a Steam Deck with a custom HDR OLED display. The first we've ever seen in a handheld with a rated peak brightness of 1,000 nits in HDR, a rated million to one contrast ratio, and 110% coverage of the DCI-P3 color space. I don't really understand this. I'm like, does it look better or not? The original seven, which they pulled off by shrinking the bezels rather than by increasing the size of the unit, making it feel even more immersive. Oh, and did I mention that it now does 90 Hertz refresh rate? Oh, thank God. Thank God. Oh my God. Oh, all the frame, all the frame bros, dude.
All the fucking frame bros, dude. They were losing their shit. We did it. We did it, everybody. Great for smoother animations and more responsive inputs. I mean, after the mildly disappointing screen in the original deck, this is everything that I could have asked for. Well, almost everything. We're still stuck at 800p resolution, but what blew my mind about that was how hard it was to tell. I mean, I could have sworn that it was higher, but I guess that just goes to show you how much our perception is impacted by other factors, like- Not 800p, bro, what do you mean? Why are you fucking keg W? It's a handheld. What the fuck are you talking about? It's a small ass screen, man. Y'all are fucking ridiculous, dude. Actually, bro, what is the, what are you talking about? It's literally a fucking handheld laptop, okay? I am an absolute dumbass, and even I understand it. Maybe because I play with it. Like brightness, contrast, and color reproduction. Valve nailed this thing. Like the color in sRGB mode is dead on with even more impressive saturation in HDR. It's easier on the eyes in low light conditions, and the contrast ratio is functionally infinite. So let me just put it this way. This thing pops. The only thing I could ask for would be support for variable refresh rate on the built-in screen. But Valve says that this just wasn't possible, not because they didn't do the software work. Bro, the major, major problem here for this piece of equipment is its weight and also subsequently directly tied to its weight it's its battery okay that's the reason why it's everything else is the way it is y'all are fucking crazy oh and heat too but again it also that also stems from that also stems from uh it's it's weight there's always going to be a balance when you make handheld consoles and I think that they did their very best. Uh, I, I think it's a powerful piece of equipment. I really like it. I'm, I'm a fan, you know? 